this video is going to be about a couple of things you can do when you have some downtime to make your hot girl summer even hotter. First thing you want to do is um, write out your schedule for the week. And might be mindful that instead of filling it all up with errands, to include some fun summer activities. going to give you some things that you can do to make your um, summer feel a little bit more um, simple and put together. Business. This is more, I would say actually this is more of like a, a wholesome girl summer. Like instead of having a hot girl summer, this is going to be like a, a wholesome healing girl summer. My next thing obviously was to read a book. Um, reading books, um, it does a lot for you. It keeps your imagination open. It keeps um, pretty much your your lust for life open because you really get to like adventure through stories that you would have never lived or known about. And it kind of just like every book and every character kind of gives you something to take away and apply to your own life. And it's just like really peaceful and relaxing for me to, you know, read. And every book that I read, it just feels like I was in a whole nother world. And it's just fun to like kind of, you know, rather than watching TV and like giving so much time to screens, um, it's just nice to relax and recenter yourself with a physical book. I know audiobooks are great. I do love audiobooks more so for driving or if I'm cleaning and stuff, but when I do get a chance, it's just really nice. I have a hard time sitting still. And I think that it's really nice to just sit still, not have any electronics, and just read. It's a very meditative experience, and I think it's really good for you, and I think that reading is attractive no matter who you are, male or female. I think just having the patience and the care to read about someone's story um, just shows a lot of character within yourself that you're willing to sit down and actually read and get to know somebody that doesn't really even exist. It's very character building for yourself to just read a book. So I highly suggest if you wanna be an attractive human being, if you wanna have a good summer, a colorful summer, a relaxing summer, a hot girl summer, a lukewarm summer, reading is going to satisfy all of those needs and honestly I have a book uh, mark and it says um, book readers truly never go to bed alone so and that I feel like can apply to your whole day it doesn't matter if you have no friends or you have friends no matter where you go like since I was like however old I no matter where I'm at whether I'm at work with my friends with um, a significant other it doesn't matter what I just always have had a book and it doesn't matter like if I feel like the vibe isn't just like satisfying me I can always just sit back kick back open up a book and I feel like the main character again so it's very high main character energy
So my next big thing is to stretch and just really no music, no nothing, just breathing and on my list is to stretch and just have some quiet time, no music, no meditation, no yoga video, just breathing, stretching, massaging your own body, just being one with yourself, breathing, reconnecting with your parts of your body, just kind of stretching and doing exercises that feel good to you. And just do this for about 15 minutes. Like if you have some downtime, you can do this for five minutes, you can do this for two minutes, you can do this for 30 minutes, an hour. You can really do this for however long you want or however long you can. If you only have like a five minute break, it's still effective just sitting there and just reconnecting with your breath is highly recommended. It is very wholesome. It can bring you back to the moment of your day. It could reduce worry and stress. I have a hard time being conscious of my breath when I'm stressed. Part of having a wholesome girl, healthy summer is to just return to your breath and really just take care of your body. Don't be afraid to massage your own shoulders, your own feet, and just really connect with yourself and have that one-on-one -on -one time where you really just pamper yourself physically and just use that time to also emotionally kind of sift through some things and let things go while you're breathing. Like a couple breathing exercises I'm gonna let you guys know that I do. is one just like body breathing, belly breathing, breathing into your womb, breathing into your heart, breathing into each of the chakras. I like to do that, like just to feel like I realign myself with that. Another um, method that I do use is like nostril breathing where you plug one and you breathe in and out each one on its own and you take full breaths and like just alternate you know so i've been getting into different kinds of breathing and it's been very helpful for me and my anxiety and everything and then there was one more oh my last recommendation for the emotional letting go and releasing is use your breathing exercises to breathe in what you want to attract and breathe in what you feel like is serving you breathe in the things that you love and when you breathe out release things and image and feel things that you don't want to feel and breathe them out and I like to take time throughout my day to just do this at least once or twice a day if not more and it's really helped me stay calm in situations that weren't in my favor and redirect myself fairly quickly to the things that I do want because every day I'm consciously reminding myself of the things that I want and releasing the things that are in my body that I keep reminding myself that I don't want and practicing this exercise forces you to intake more things that you are in love with so that is uh, my next tip on my list thank you guys for listening to that little part it's really relaxing and refreshing and honestly going places where you can just sit posed and poised poised <laughs> and relax shoulders back breathing regulated feeling calm you're naturally going to attract more and you're naturally going to be more grounded and get things done in a more calm easy mentality and people are going to admire that so that is my next tip use it as you will. Okay, so I am headed to go get an iced tea and a little muffin treats because it's nice out. What you could do for the summer is to go out and just get like a coffee, a tea, and a little like sweet treat just to kind of spruce up your day. Um, another small thing you can do in between um, tasks and busyness between your day. Once you get your sweet treat and drink, um, don't forget to start a pay it forward train those are so fun and you can be kind to people randomly without expecting any return in kindness and it's just really wholesome because you know you can make someone's day with that and it's fun to just start a chain reaction of really like kind fun gestures so yeah another idea for your summer bucket list
like my major downfalls as a human being is I have like the worst road rage. Um, I literally want to fight every single person that puts me in danger on the road. If you put me in danger, I don't like you. If you cut me off and don't stop and let me go. If you don't have road manners, I don't like you. Let's just get oh, that wait, straight. This video to not be zen for like two seconds. So back to the peaceful montage of my summer. Of my uh, hot girl summer vlog today, um, we're checking a couple things off the list, uh, the summer bucket list. My next stop was a flower boutique with, you know, plants and flowers. We're gonna go home and make a flower crown and have a mini photo shoot. So I am at this little plant place. Oh my goodness, this is flower heaven. splurged like 10 extra bucks to get this cute little plant um i'm really excited because when i moved here a lot of my plants died because they weren't used to the sunlight shift and i didn't exactly know what rooms to put each plant in for the best optimal sunlight so now i have to restock my plant collection so another thing you can do for your hot girl summer is get you some plants because it makes the oxygen in your house better and it's just like goddess energy okay so that's good thing about this plant that i got is it does not need a lot of sunlight so i can put it wherever i want <laughs> and it looks so pretty right here well, In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the toady sleeps tonight. You hop in? Get in the Oh, he hopped in the water. He hopped in. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. There's 12 dozen roses and um, some ribbon. This and pretty much measure out the hole with like wrap it around my head so I can tie it. Um, and then hot glue the roses to this. So we're gonna get into it. You need some scissors. I'm using meat scissors. You don't have to use meat scissors. You could just use regular scissors. Look at that, yes. Okay. Our hot glue gun. We'll take your glue sticks, grab one. This is heating up. There we go. Our hair back. All right. This is still heating up. Get rid of that. <clears throat> Okay, so for each rose, you're gonna wanna like clip it as flat as possible, like that, just so when we're putting it on the crown, it could just be on there flat, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try this. So we're gonna wrap it in a bow so I can tie it on there really a flat surface across like so. And I'm going to just, with hot glue, like so on to the ribbon. This for the whole headband. I need another glue stick and hopefully yeah like there, there'll be one left over or two so I could just use it as like a prop so and these roses were like ten dollars so cheaper actually than the grocery store to get a dozen nicer roses at a flower shop so I'm actually quite impressed with the 
treatment that I've got. So we have our row of roses. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And we actually still have this left over. So perfect. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. Yes, this is uh, indeed very heavy. Very, very heavy. So this is the outfit. It is a red simple dress I like that it's silk now for the test we're going to see if this actually works as you... oh my god yes okay I'm gonna pull my hair out here right okay and this side I'm gonna pull my hair here right. So let's just pray that this actually... Okay, this is our flower crown and now I'm going to go do a photo shoot outside of the backyard. Oh my god, that is so cute. Look at me from behind. Oh my god. This is giving. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, okay I ended up not using the props. Um, I forgot, but I got some really good pictures and I'm pretty excited. So I might go out and do one more i might do it in the woods I'm going into the woods with my props so yeah the flower crown look took like less than 10 minutes to create it was ten dollars in ribbon i already had it was like 50 cents for this thing of ribbon and i just used my iphone so this is a really easy quick like summer girl photo shoot if you want to just do something quick and kind of like get a little self-esteem boost and kind of tap into that summer part of yourself um yeah this has been a fun experience i am super happy that i was able to do this i'm gonna go in the woods and use my flowers as my props to get a couple more good pictures and uh yeah 